Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aditya Mashel Kar and I work for Dubai first. Uh, we are a finance company. Uh, I have a very simple one line question. Uh, what and why is the difference between Sunni Muslims and Shia Muslims? Wa alaikum assalam, brother Aditya. May peace be on you too. MashaAllah, speaking Arabic, salam means may peace be on you. Islam is a religion of peace. He has the question, basic question, what is the difference between Sunni and Shia Muslim? Correct? Yes. Brother, there is no Sunni and Shia in the Quran. Read the Quran, there is no Sunni Shia in the Quran. Quran says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 103, Wa tasimu bihablillahi jamiya wa la tafarraku. Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. You have to follow Allah and His Rasul. Follow the Quran and the authentic Hadith. Shiaism came later on because of political differences. It has nothing to do with Islam. In Islam there is no sect. Quran says in Surah Anam chapter 6 verse 159, If anyone makes sex in the religion of Islam, O Prophet have nothing to do with him. Allah will look after the affairs. There are many verses in the Quran which say, making sect in the religion of Islam is prohibited. There is no sect. All these are because of political differences that came. But in Islam, there is nothing like Shia Sunni. There is only Muslim. Muslim is a person who submits his will to God. So in that case, uh, which belief is more correct, Shia or Sunni? The belief which believes in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith is correct. The belief... <laughs> the person who believes in the teachings of Quran and the Sahih Hadith is correct. The moment you ask questions, if he gives reference from the Quran, he's correct. If he says, my Sheikh says this, my Sheikh said that, my Imam said this. If the saying of the Imam matches with the Quran, we match with it. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 59, Ati Allah, obey Rasul, obey Allah and obey the messengers. And those who have been given the power of Amr, of commandment. But the verse does not stop there, it continues. But if the people of knowledge differ, go back to Allah and his Rasul. If two scholars say two different things, check up which scholar matches with Quran and Sahih Hadith. The one who follows this Quran and Sahih Hadith is on the straight path, is a true Muslim, the other is not. So brother, which one would you like to choose? Shia or Sunni? <laughs> well, sir, I'm, I'm a Hindu, so... Sorry? I'm, I'm a Hindu, I, I really don't know much, but it was just that I was curious to know uh, about, you know... No, uh, where did I thought... I thought now you have to decide. Should I become a Shia or a Sunni? <laughs> no, not really, sir. So I'm I thought born maybe... a Hindu and I die a Hindu. <laughs> born a Hindu, brother, even I was born a Hindu. I don't know that I die as Hindu. You know what the definition of the word Hindu? Hindu by definition means a person who lives in the land of Indus Valley. The people who live in India are called as Hindus. Correct. This word Hindu is not in any of the religious scriptures. It was first used by the Arabs. When the Arabs came to India, they gave the word Hindi, Hindi hai. You know, when I go to Saudi and here, they call me Hindi. Hindi means a person coming from India. It is not a religion. So you are a Hindu, I am a Hindu geographically. Hindu is not a religious definition at all. According to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, if you read his book, Discovery of India, he writes, the word Hindu doesn't exist in any of the Hindu scriptures before the advent of the Arabs to India. So Hindu is a geographical definition, brother, even I am a Hindu, I come from India. And the Arabs call me Hindi, Hindi. Hindi doesn't mean idol worshipper. Hindi means coming from India. So I know you are a Hindu, I am talking about a religious belief. If you are religious belief, do you believe in one God? Well, sir, I know where we are going, but uh, I am a very strong believer of the fact no i that, don't uh, i'm saying a statement would not no i'm not telling you brother beliefs. i'm not telling you to change your religion put me in a mosque i'm not <laughs> telling i'm not telling you change your religion if i ask you do you believe in god he said yes if i say do you believe in idols you may say no then i correct you okay okay uh, so so your question is do you believe in do one you god? believe in one god no i so, believe in a lot of gods okay we have fine 33, 33 crore very gods. good very good now i want to help you don't become a muslim but I want to help you. Because you are not a Muslim, I want to help you more. Now you said you believe in Thaitri, Pro God. Where you got this from the Hindu scriptures, correct? Now if you read Chandogya... I just heard about it, sir. From where? Honest, oh, so you believe... Cited. Oh, mashallah. So you believe in anything what you hear? Why don't you believe in what you hear from me? <laughs> well, sir... Am, am I your enemy, brother? I love you. Brother, well, sir, I love where, you. Where, where I come from... Uh, it's, it's not that uh, I've just heard it from one person, the way you said it. Uh, but yeah, I've heard it from my parents, my uncles, and 
probably 1.2 billion people in India believe Fine. exactly the way I believe. Fine. So, so, I, so it's not I that all of, all of us are all of us are doing something wrong. I'll correct you. There's something tell which you. we are doing right, which is common between I disagree. us. Which I believe is Hinduism. I disagree that 1.2 billion believe. I do agree majority of the Hindus believe, not all. I know many Hindus who disagree with what you have said. Because those who have read the Hindu scriptures, where you get this from? From the scriptures. Correct. Anyone says from the mind, if your father tomorrow says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, will you believe? If, oh, your, sorry, father, sir, I, I didn't if you. your father says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, will you believe? Uh, well, not unless somebody corrects me. No, if your father tells you today, 2 okay. plus 2 is equal to 5, no, will you believe? I will not believe. MashaAllah, you're an educated man, therefore you won't believe, correct? correct? Now, I'm giving you reference from your scriptures. Okay. And you have to ask your father, in Hindu scriptures, as I mentioned earlier, there are two types of scriptures. One is Shruti, one is Smriti. Shruti means the word of God. Vedas, uh, Upanishads. Next comes Smriti, the Puranas, the Itihas, Ramayan, Mahabharat. If you read Upanishad, the most superior, it's mentioned in Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number 6, section number 2, verse number 1. Ikkam evidityam. God is only one without a second. It's a Sanskrit quotation, brother. Ikkam evidityam. God is only one without a second. It's mentioned in the Sita Sita Upanishad, chapter number 6, verse number 9. Nakas se kasij, janita na chadipa. Of that God, there is no superior. There are no parents. It's mentioned in Sita Sita Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19. Nartasthi Pratima Asti. Of that God, there is no image. Pratima in Sanskrit means an image, a photograph, a painting, a picture, a sculpture, a statue. Sita Sita Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19 says, Nartasthi Pratima Asti. Of that God, there are no images, no photographs, no paintings, no pictures, no statues, no idols. If you read the Vedas, I'm talking about the highest scriptures, I'm not talking about lower scriptures. I'm talking about Shruti. Shruti is consists of Upanishads and Vedas. It's mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3. Natastra Pratima Asti. Of that God, there is no Pratima. Of that God, there are no images, there are no photographs, there are no paintings, there are no pictures, there are no idols, there are no statues. You will tell me, I know where you're taking me. I'm not taking you anywhere, I'm taking you to your scriptures. I'm taking you to your scriptures. Fine? That's the different thing your scriptures match with the Quran. What can I do? Furthermore, brother, if you read Yajurve chapter number 40, verse number 9, it says, Andhat Prabhavishanti ya Asambuti Mupaste. They are entering darkness, those who worship the Asambuti. Asambuti are natural things like fire, water, air, etc. Who said that? Yajurve. And the verse continues. They are entering more in darkness, those who worship the Sambuti. Sambuti are the created things like table, chair, car, idol, etc. Who says that? Yajurved, chapter number 40, verse number 9. Now, when your father told you about Thaitri, oh God, I don't know whether he gave you references or not. I am giving you references. You can take my references, note it down, take the video cassette, go and ask your father. Go and ask your pandit. I am not telling you to believe me blindly, brother. You believed your father blindly, you did a mistake once. Don't do the mistake the second time. If you know where I'm taking you, I'm not in a hurry. I want you to be a firm believer, not just because my father said. So tomorrow you can quote the scriptures. Fine. Now, if you are a Hindu, true Hindu, you should follow the scriptures. Like the sister that came earlier, she asked me a question once, she asked me twice, she asked me third time, she got convinced. You don't get convinced, no problem. You take time. She got convinced with three questions. I'm not forcing you. It's not allowed in Islam. I'm only giving you guidance. I Thank cannot, you for that, sir. I cannot, Thank you. I cannot give it unless Almighty God puts it in your heart. So if you want to search the truthfulness in Almighty God, all these references you can go and check up. Go and ask your father. Go and ask your pundit. I want not you. I want your father to come along with you, inshallah. Hope that answers the question. Thank you very much for all the information, sir. May God bless you.